Alright guys, welcome to day five. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking, but first, you guys know that I uh, cry that I don't. I'm, we're not drinking Red Bulls anymore, so I've been trying to find some alternative energy drinks. So we're going to give this Orange Cream Ghost a try. I did have a Ghost the other day, it wasn't Orange Cream, but they're good. As far as like they light you up, like you get some real energy, but I don't know about Orange Cream. It definitely tastes like orange cream. I'm going to give it like a couple tries before I give it a rating. It's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's great either. I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. Like it's doable, but it's not my favorite. So this is what I've been thinking about. We're starting at like 22% is what the scan said yesterday, right? You can see that in the video from yesterday. I have a cruise in February. That means we're going to have to like really, really hit it hard. I don't even know if it's possible. But we are going to try to hit single digit body fat by February. That doesn't give us much time. We're going to have to turn it up to 10. Like, even if we have to start doing cardio twice a day, that's a possibility. So, I'm not going to bore you guys with my breakfast talk this morning. But... We're going to have to really focus, buckle down, hit it hard. We'll probably start dropping calories and maybe every week lose 100 per day. Uh, we'll just have to see see where we, where, where we stand as far as our results go weekly. Also, I'm trying to decide how often we should weigh in. If we should do it like every three days, once a week, we'll see. Last note to, to, that I want to tell you guys. I'm waiting for Black Friday. This video will probably roll out on Black Friday because I'm trying to do seven days. Like se I'm doing seven days before I even drop the first video. That way, if I ever get in a bind and I can't edit a video or something, I can, I'll can i have time to get it done. That's the only reason I'm doing that. I'm waiting on Black Friday to order the mics and a stand because why wouldn't you? And it's a week away. It's like you know you're going to be able to save a ton. So. I'm going to order those and those will be in, so I'm excited about that. A little bit dark in here, but I like to start every leg day out with bike. So I, I get on the bike, I, I do anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes just depending on how I'm feeling, like how my legs feel, and then from there I go into a like legit stretch. Like I, I, I stretch more on leg day than any other day just because my legs are the first ones to cramp up on me. After we get done here, we'll go stretch for probably 10, 15 minutes, and then uh, we'll get started. Like I said, legs is one of those days where like, if I don't stretch, I pay for it. I might get halfway through the workout and start like cramping up. Only legs, which I stretch with everything. Like, I'm a fan of stretching. I'm not, I'm not saying don't stretch, but I'm just saying if I don't stretch on legs, I really, really pay for it. But we're also doing abs today, so don't forget about that. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get those in too. I like to do legs first and abs last. It's like one of the only workouts where I don't work them both in. I don't know why, but if you're watching this, that means this comes out on Friday, but next Friday, so Black Friday. It means I'm buying Gymshark. So every Black Friday for the past three years, I've I've spent roughly two hundred and fifty dollars on Gymshark. Just like after the full year of wearing them, after they've been washed about a hundred times, they kind of start to get a little small. Like right now, these are these are getting a little tight, tighter than they were when I first bought them for sure. So uh, I'll be ordering some more. I always do. It's, for whatever reason, the uh, the gym shark just works for me. It just seems to uh, fit me well. I enjoy it. it. Doesn't get beat up too much by the washing and stuff. I didn't get to record uh, eating my chipotle today. I was busy. I like to start out here with legs because, well, it's kind of a machine, but it's, it, you feel a little bit more controlled. And I, I like to start out light here before I do actual squats. I try not to do anything super heavy before I actually go squat. So, let's get it.
So I keep my feet closer together and do more quad dominant, and then I go directly sideways, directly across the street technically, and do a hamstring workout. I start with uh, one plate on squats usually. Get a feel for it, see how tight my lower back is. My lower back always hurts, just being old. But as uh, soon as you become a dad, you start having lower back problems, you lose all your hair. It's like everything hits at once. But So I start with one plate and then see how we feel from there. And then we always uh, go from there. Definitely gonna go up, just gonna see how quickly. But. Uh, I'm a big fan of the belt too. I'm not afraid to use the belt by any means. Try to stay in the least packed areas in the gym just to, uh, you know, be respectful of people as possible, you know. Um, I'm hoping that they wouldn't stop us from recording, but you never know. Got to do this angle because I need to check my form for myself. Sometimes I, I, you can't see yourself in most situations, maybe if you're in front of a mirror. But Crazy how heavy that feels. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be that heavy, but that's my fault. I haven't been squatting as much lately. I hit legs weekly. I just, gosh dang it! I don't know why I struggle when it comes to squats. Whew. That was tough. All right, we'll see how this goes. To only get five is kind of a slap in the face, but it is what it is. Just gotta go hard everywhere else. So when I was really young in the gym, make sure you feel the stretch. All right, we're gonna get some leg extensions. And then we'll be done with legs, and we just gotta hit abs, so. The angle's kinda funny, but it's the only place I can see to set up the camera, so. 
I'm doing four sets of leg extensions, but I'm only gonna be able to record one. I was gonna try to record abs, but uh, I went back to get the thumbnail picture and came back and there was literally like 20 people in there. I had already done a couple ab workouts, but uh, we're gonna hit them Sunday anyway, so stay tuned, make sure you're here for Sunday. I'll be hitting abs on Sunday as well, so I'll just go over it then. Uh, but as of right now, doesn't matter how much our legs hurt, it's time to get on the Stairmaster. Next couple days, I'm gonna do cardio. I'm gonna do just walking on the treadmill, at an incline like just I need to give my legs a rest for a second that was uh that was tough I love pushing myself I'm all for pushing myself I, I don't want to sound like a wimp that's what, not what I'm trying to do because I'm not that I'm, I'm very much not that just got a little dizzy so I'm going to take it easy on the cardio the next couple days because I'm doing a lot all at once like we started cutting we're pushing hard. Like, I'm, I'm used to doing cardio four or five times a day. I mean, four or five times a week. Now we're doing seven days a week. Um, so eating less food and doing more. There, you do, you do have to be careful. There is points, like, where we got to take it easy. So tomorrow we'll, we'll, do, uh, we'll do incline. Our legs are going to be toast anyways. We killed legs today. Like, I'm already hurting. So, whew, great workout. Let's go get some dinner. I was really struggling towards the end of that leg workout, but that just means we had a hard enough workout. I'm not mad at that. Um, I just had plain chicken for dinner. Uh, because I wanted to have a dessert tonight, I've been just craving a dessert, so I made, my, my wife made me like a um, protein banana shor shor sorbet, shor sorbet. I, I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. Ended up finishing a hundred calories over by accident. It is what it is. We'll do some extra cardio tomorrow. But 227 grams of protein, um, 211 grams of carbs, 102 grams of fat. It was a little bit over. Today's verse of the day comes from 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love him. I say this all the time, like you can't even wrap your mind around how much God loves you. Just like I couldn't wrap my mind around how much my parents loved me until I had my daughter. When I had my first daughter, I realized, oh, oh, they would lay down anything for me. Like, just like I would lay down for my daughter, they would lay down anything for me, and God will do the same for you. He shows this at just giving his, his son, like, to cover our sins. So, there's so much love there, and all you have to do is meet him. You know, they, God is a gentleman, so he's not going to force his way into your life. I'm sorry that that keeps going off. So, he's not going to force his way into your life. You've got to be... You've got to be willing to let him in. You have to ask him to come into your heart, to join your life, and then start reaching out to him. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got a fun day tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.